Starbucks scales back discounts. I'm not going to even get necessarily into the thrust of Starbucks pricing because that's less of the issue of the day that I want to bring out. But the main thing I do want to bring out is talk about this aspect of pricing. I get it. During the holiday seasons and other times, buy one, get two free and things like this. We lower discounts and bring a coupon and things like this. But as we're looking to build sustainable businesses, I wonder, is pricing low pricing and is discounting, is that always good for us? I don't know. And my encouragement to you today be careful with your pricing. Sometimes you might think, oh, I'm pricing this at $100. I'm pricing this at $50. And you think lowering prices is the way to go. You think lowering prices is the way to get the next customer. My guidance to you today is that's not necessarily the case. That may not be the way to do so. Yes, lowering prices may get that customer to buy, especially if they're conditioned on pricing. But as a small business owner, you're not going to go up against Amazon or Walmart or Costco or a big box retailer. Then they're so price driven. You need to have your pricing at a premium. You need to make a profit. You need to pay yourself. You need to provide for your team. You need to provide for your family. Don't you want to build wealth for your community? So be careful of lowering your prices. Just because Starbucks did doesn't mean you need to do 